All right, so you have a educational world that is that that you want to convert to Bedrock Edition, but you don't know how. Well, I'm going to show you how. So you're going to want to download NBT Studio. I'll have the link in the description and in a pinned comment below, just so you don't miss it. You're going to want to download that. Don't open it yet. You don't need it open yet. So how do you have an how do I have an education world here? Uh, good question. You're going to want to extract yeah, you're gonna to want to open up education edition and extract the world. You click that, it'll do a little loading screen and at, uh, it'll actually ask you where you want to put the world and then like which file, which folder you want to put the world in. I put in downloads and I extracted blah blah blah. it's there now. For me, I actually had to extract this and email it to myself because I have because my, my education edition is on my school laptop and I wanted to play Minecraft, my Minecraft world on my home laptop. So anyways, enough of my story. Get the world here, either through a thumb drive, emailing the world to yourself, save it put it somewhere that you can easily find. For me, that is downloads. Now you have this here. You are going to want to go to view, go to options, change folder, blah, blah, blah stuff. And you're going to open up to this and you're going to want to find hide extensions for known file types. You want to take off that check. And once you do, you can see exactly what I see, which is this dot MC world. You're going to want to rename it. Well, first click it, and then you can rename it. You want to go over and make this a dot zip. Press yes. I know it sounds crazy because it's scary and it's like, oh no, you're going to mess with the file, but you're not because I know what I'm doing here and you just got to follow me even though I'm going super fast, I apologize. You're going to want to extract all, right click and then do extract all, extract. For some reason it keeps opening a different window, but either way, here's this. Now you're gonna to wanna to open up NBT, file, import, folder. You're going to want to find your extracted file, open it. It might take a second and you might have to press the check mark. There we go. Open up level data. Scroll down until you find edu offer and press the X three times. I know um, just saying that is kind of crazy, but technically what you're doing here is deleting the code that is saying that your world is education addiction addiction <laughs> addition which makes it impossible to import it into bedrock now you're going to want to go to file save and i want to come here and you're wanna, going to want to cut you're going to want to go back to your thing open a um, zip folder you're going to want to open it um this worked before. Oh, there we go. Uh, you're gonna wanna uh, left click, then right click, and then you can paste it in. And then bam, you have your world. Uh, rename. You're gonna wanna turn this back into a .mc world file. And doing this turns it right back into a world. And then from there, Allow me to open up Minecraft again. I'm already in my old world. Ooh, that's... Oh, wait. No, we're good. I was freaking out because uh, it was dark, which normally spawns mods, but... Uh, mobs. But thanks to the new update, it's not like that. So, import, find your world, import, and it'll work. Um, if you have any issues or anything, please do tell me. Um... What is that? I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna 
yeah, forget that. Uh, that's the end of the video. If you have any issues, any problems, I will do my best to help. And I think I'm, no, I'm not going to do that. But, well, I'm going to help you. It's just, I was thinking something. That's all. Have a good day, good night, good afternoon, good evening, whatever's going on in your life. Uh, good luck. Um, <laughs> goodbye.